Welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Hockey and Skate V's this week. V's are on to round two after beating West Colon in five games. Up next, the Vernon Vipers in a rematch in the Interior Division Final. Joined by V's puck stopper Hunter Miska. Well, Hunter, I think one of the highlights for you probably and the team is a triple overtime win in game number three. They got a 2-1 series lead. But for you personally, 82 shots you faced, 79 saves. Have you ever been in a game like that? Uh, no, I've actually I played in one in uh, high school for round two of playoffs. I played Hermantown. I took uh, 78 shots. It was a totally different story. Uh, and that one it was my first year playing goalie, so gave up quite a few goals on that. But the you know, last uh, last time we did that was last week there, and it was awesome. It was uh, fun to be a part of, and it was a tough game for me to to play in with uh, keeping keeping your confidence throughout the whole game and uh, staying focused. Hunter Mensa stopped a lot of shots for the V's already. Looking to do more so against Vernon starting this weekend. With one of the returnees from last year's Vernon Vipers V's playoff series, number 15, Jack Ramsey. And Jack, uh, last year was tough. Double uh, overtime loss here in game seven of the SOEC. How long have you been waiting for this rematch? Uh, I mean, as soon as that game ended, I thought, what am I going to do this summer? How am I going to train? And, you know, what are we going to do to get back in the same position uh, the following year and find ourselves here against the same team? Um, it's going to be interesting. It'll be a fun series. You know, all the guys are ready to play. And, Look forward to getting a little revenge, hopefully, for the guys last year. What's it like in the playoffs to face Vernon? You've done it once, you're going to do it again. Uh, I mean, they're a good team. It's going to be a battle, and we know it, it took seven games to uh, to find out who the winner was last year. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what happens this year. They're a good team. We're a good team. The, the, the best two in the interior division, possibly the league. And so it's going to be a, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a playoff series, and it's going to be a battle. What's the key for the Vs maybe in this series uh, going forward to advance to the round robin in round three? I think we uh, look back on what gave us success uh, in the last round against West Cologne and it's that we have four lines and great D pairs and great goaltenders. So we use our whole team. You know, we don't sit anyone on the bench. And so we need to use our whole team so we don't get as tired. And so hopefully we can run them down. We talked about that overtime game. It can be a long summer. Guys, don't forget. How much do you think about that? How much were you looking forward to eventually getting back to Vernon? Because I know probably quiet the guys want to play Vernon in an interior final. Yeah, exactly. You do. I mean, midsummer, you find yourself going to bed, and all of a sudden, something triggers that memory that you lost in game seven overtime. Then you think, man, I can't wait to play him this year. And, you know, we, uh, we did well against him in the regular season, so hopefully we can do the same here in the playoffs. Lastly, relishing some days off, obviously, after a hard-fought series against West Clone and getting ready for the weekend. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it was nice getting a couple of days off. The weather is nice out here, so we try to keep our minds focused on hockey and whatnot. But, yeah, everyone can use it, the uh, rest up the bodies, and so they got the same rest as we did, so everyone's going to be charged up and ready to go. Rest for only a couple more days. V's, Vipers, the 22nd time these two teams will meet in the BCHL playoffs. All starts this weekend. This has been Ultimate Hockey and Skate V's this week. I'm your host, Fraser Rogers.